Hello everyone and welcome back to another Med Boys video. If you're new here, my name is Naman and I'm one of the three Med Boys. We're all pre-med students at the University of Toronto. Today we'll be talking about how we switched up our study routine to studying in four hour blocks and how that has served us. Let's get into it. We're not talking about four hours of studying when you're going on your phone or taking YouTube breaks or anything like that. We're just talking about four hours of unwavering, focused and hardcore studying. Whenever I tell people about this method and they ask me about why I do this as opposed to something like the Pomodoro method where you're taking a break every half hour, they just don't believe it. They just say that there's no way you can be doing this and studying for four hours. But trust me and trust the three of us that we actually do this. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I do and why it's so important. First, let's talk about why I study in four hour blocks. You might think that this is impossible to do or that it's super inefficient, but the goal of this strategy is to finish the most amount of work in as little as time as possible. Personally, it can be really hard for me to get back into studying after I've taken a long break, and I'm sure you might have experienced the same thing. I remember this one time before I was using the four hour study block routine, I went to go get a snack and I came back like three hours later. What? So it's better to just stay in that studying zone for the four hours instead of coming in and out of it. And for me personally, when I was studying for online school especially, I would do a block from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., so that four hours, and then I would take a two hour break and then start again, do another block from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. This would give me enough time to go over everything I needed to study. And at 6 p.m., I would be done all of my work. So I could do anything I want after it. I could relax, play video games, watch YouTube videos, go with my friends or anything I want. And this is why this method is so good. Before I started using the four hour study block method, I always felt like I wasn't getting my work done in the shortest amount of time possible. But now that I've started using it more, I can really have some peace of mind and actually understand that I finished all the work I can do within that four hours and I can relax after the fact. Yes, 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 yes. So we went on a big rant about why you should be using this method over others. So now let's get into the hard part. Let's talk about how I'm able to stay focused for four hours straight and still be productive. First of all, before I'm going to sleep, I grab my trusty old pen and paper and I write down everything that I need to finish the next day. The biggest reason people procrastinate is because they don't really know what to do on the day of. They might have too many things or they might have too little things and might not know how to plan ahead. So I feel like if you write every single thing down, it leaves no room for procrastination. For example, I'm going to tell you what's on my to-do list today so you can get a sense of what it's like. So first of all, I need to write a Medboy script for our next video. Then I need to schedule a donation for our not-for-profit organization, Blankets for Teal. And I also need to go to the gym with the boys. But just writing these things down doesn't mean you'll actually do them. For example, for my Medboy script, I already have the doc ready and I have it shared with Naman and Rusha already so that when I sit down to work on it, I don't have to think of anything. Essentially, I'm just trying to make everything as convenient as possible so there's no friction and I can get into the work right away rather than procrastinate. it. The second thing is fairly obvious, but make sure you have everything you could possibly need before sitting down to study at 8 a.m. For example, make sure you bring your snacks, your water bottles, your chargers, whatever you need so that you minimize the number of times you have to get up and out of your studying environment. But if you do have to get up and out, make sure you ask yourself this question. Have I been able to get an hour or two of focused studying done? If the answer is no, this can serve as great motivation for you to stay there and complete your work so that you can feel more fulfilled and actually deserving of that break you're gonna get. Now, the next tip is probably the most important one. Even if you think that you're not dependent on your phone and you think that you can stay away from it as much as you want, you can't. There's always going to be a notification about a new message or an important email, or you saw that the med boys posted another video. All of these things can be very distracting to you when you're studying. So the best tip is to put your phone away when you're studying. And by that, I mean putting it away outside of your reach, not in your pocket, not on your desk, but away. Personally, I put my phone in another room when I'm studying because it can get so distracting. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. 
I used to think of studying as something I was obligated to do. Because of this, it became quite boring and I couldn't really sit down for hours on end to study. That was before I came across this tip. What this tip is, is that you should treat studying like a video game. You want to compete with yourself, make it fun. And the way you can make it fun is by giving yourself rewards. For example, when I'm sitting down to study, I'll say if I can get this done, this four hour block done, then I could go on my phone for an hour or I could go to the movies with my friends or go to the gym. And that way I stay motivated. This motivation can get you through those patches where you feel like giving up. It can be something small, like I'm gonna finish an hour or two of focused studying and then I'll get my chocolate bar that I wanted to eat or refill my coffee. These things seem pretty trivial, but let me tell you that they do work. And after a few weeks of this type of studying, it'll become like second nature to you. So make sure you keep consistently doing it. Also, it can be helpful to think of time as something that's just repeatable. Let's say you've studied for two hours and you don't want to study and you want to motivate yourself. All you need to tell yourself to do is repeat those two hours and boom, you've just studied for four hours. The fifth tip that I use is to set high standards. If I know that I can study for four hours once, I know I can do it again. And as a result, I tell myself that if I've done this once, I can't make any excuses or any reasons to why I should be studying any less. By setting these standards, you're just making some discipline in your day. And that's what's really going to help you elevate your game to the next level. I could do this all day. One final thing to remember is that we're not robots. We're not perfect and we can have those off days. For me, I can't always study like this. There are gonna be days where I slack off. But the rule I keep for myself is that at least I'm able to do five out of seven days of the week where I am able to do those four hour study block routines and then I'll be happy with myself. What's important to also remember is that things do happen that are unexpected or that are different from your actual routine. So it's important to expect the unexpected. That's why you shouldn't be discouraged when you're unable to do your four hour study block routine because of something unexpected. And that brings us to the end of the video. We hope this video was helpful to you and hopefully you got some tips out of it. If you want to see more content from us, please subscribe and please like the video if you got some helpful tips out of it. If you have more tips or questions, please leave them in the comments. We love to reply to your comments and that's it for me.